How to create a delayed audio effect in DaVinci Resolve 19.0.3. Inside your Projects Edits window, hold in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and press I to insert a media file into your project. Find your chosen media clip inside the Media Pool Master Bin. Click and drag from the thumbnail to your Edit Timeline to insert your clip. Go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, scroll down the options to Audio Effects. Click and drag the Delay filter from the Fairlight Effects menu to the relevant audio clip on your Edit Timeline. Your Delay settings should appear automatically inside the Custom window. Close with the top left button and reopen at any time using the custom icon inside the inspector window underneath effects, where your delay audio feature is included. The settings that you see on the side of your project also reflect those from the custom window. If the low cut value were to be placed beyond the high cut value, higher frequency sounds such as hissing or cheeping sounds will stand out more, such as the example here. The closer behind the high cut value is to the low cut value, the more significant the high frequency sounds will be, as you can hear in this demonstration. If we were to set the value for high cut higher than that of low cut, lower frequency and humming type effects will stand out more, as you can hear here in this demonstration. This setting can also be used to create an echo effect. Spreading out both values apart in this setup will establish a sound simulation effect of a large room. The further apart these are, with high cut higher than low cut, the larger the simulated room setting will sound in the delayed playback of audio, as you can hear in this demo. If there is an increase in delay time, the pause between the original sound and the repeated sound effect will increase. Since I have applied this to the left side, this effect will be significant on the left side when listening with headphones as you can hear in this demo with the left delay time increased. An increase in feedback enhances the blend of the original and repeated audio output, depending on the sides chosen, as you can hear here with only the right feedback increased. Adjusting the high ratio can help to remove or make ambient sounds more significant, although the effect with this setting is very subtle. The stereo blend value will reduce the strength of the delayed audio feedback. If, for example, I increase the value for right feedback and increase the stereo blend value before previewing the audio, the right feedback will become less significant. This is because portions of the left and right audio channel signals are fed into one another, as demonstrated in this playback instance. An increased dry, wet effect will add reverb, as demonstrated here, and the opposite adjustment where the value is lowered here for this property will reduce the reverb effects, as demonstrated here, and reducing the output level will decrease the volume and overall decibel level of the audio to make the playback quieter, as demonstrated in this playback instance. Return to Custom, and click on the Reset All option towards the top of the Delay Clip window, so that the properties return to their default settings. To remove the delay filter, click on the bin effect towards the top of your inspector window to the right of delay, or select the red icon to disable this filter, whilst preserving the property settings in case you wish to use these later. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join us soon for another video, take care.